usually starts, Adam, as you know. I'm usually reading something uh, over the weekend from some place, <laughs> usually a newspaper <laughs> online. That's a, you know, that's a good place. Good place to start. Something sort of from some place. Something someplace. <laughs> And this particular weekend, I was reading an article by an author whose daughter was going to college, and she was going to study American Sign Language in college. American Sign Language. So that got me thinking, how come I never heard about the language of sign language? Like, I, I, I got to believe, when, when, I, when I say things like this, I know there are a lot of people who are well-schooled on different subjects. But I think the majority of people tend to think like me. I'll, I'll bet on that any day. So I have a simplistic view, thought of that as, hey, sign language, I never thought about it. I thought it was one universal language. You know, a dog is a dog. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not true that American versus French, et cetera, but it is true. It, it basically, sign language is not universal. There are over, a little research here, there are a little over 300 sign languages in the world. And French is French. And it generally follows, the sign language will follow the language that basically the country of, of origin uh, dictates. Wait, so they have, a, they have a different alphabet that, 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 that they use and you say it's a different language? Well, I don't think you have alphabets, you have symbols. That's what I was saying, a dog should be a dog, but no, not true. Okay. There's, there's, uh, uh, there's characteristics of the particular language, again, over 300, 300 sign languages in this country and in the world. And there are over 6,900 known living languages in, this, in the world. So 6,900 living languages and 300 approximately, and they say they really can't pin it down that good, uh, but 300 sign languages in the world. Now, how come I never heard of this? That's the how come question again. And what we like to do with how come is, all right, try and figure it out. We got a couple guys in the studio here who are pretty good, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be talking to them later to get more insight on the, the language of sign language. But uh, we like to basically, we like to, to take a how come question and turn it into some application to a small business. So how come I never heard of American Sign Language and the world of sign languages? I always thought one, one size fit all, but how wrong was I? But one of the things that came to mind here and does come to mind continually is I never heard of it because we have a marketing issue here. Marketing basically, marketing your business, comes about, there's three components. Target your customer, create a message for your customer, and deliver it through some channel. That's how we teach it. Well, basically, one of the first objectives of good marketing is to make your target clients aware of you. Now, somebody in the sign language business isn't doing a real good job, at least from, from my point of view. They aren't doing a real good job of making people aware of the differences. Is it a big deal? I don't know. I mean, it isn't to me at this point, but it's an interesting concept. And how many more organizations are like that out there that don't try to market, and I'm talking the first component of it, and that's make people aware of their differences and, and their obstacles. Well, it's become a more common thing. If you look at you have big speeches or things that are kind of going on, you often have, you know, in the corner, here's somebody who's signing that speech, right? Or if they're, you know, if they're singing the, the, the national anthem or something like that, often they'll be, they'll be signing. The anthem along with them, right? So that's so become more common. Should bring in somebody who to uh, sign language is French to uh, an American no, that's, audience? That's a great question. They, 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 they don't say that. They, here they are just signing along. To your point, it's just saying here it is. It, like assume it's it's one universal language. That's how it's presented. That's how it seems. That's yeah. correct. And and I, I gotta believe most people who do look at that think that same way, or they never think about it. All right. So so who so come back to your marketing point here. So who is their target market? Do you think? Who should they talk? I'm guessing maybe maybe they, they are doing. I'm going to take a counter. Maybe they're doing a great job of this, but you're not who they're targeting, Jack. No. Well, I, I could be if I were. Uh, you, you look at the uh, Animal Protective League, and, and you, you look at how they they promote donations to help animals. Oh sure, tug at the heartstrings all the time. Here's Absolutely. that poor animal, and, yeah, okay. and and they do a great job of it. Well, what are the what are the difficulties in 
being deaf, and that's only one component. There, there are many uses for and, and reasons for sign language. Uh, you know, you have it in the military. You have it when electronics go down. You, you have a lot of a lot of sign language issues that most of us don't think about because nobody's trying to make us aware of it. So yeah. So what what do you do? You know, how should they promote? Well, like anything, they have to come up with a definition of their target. And I know if they were to spend uh, a good day or two with some pretty pretty bright people, they would basically have an outline of multiple targets that they want to reach. And then from there, they're going to create a message. They're going to get a good PR woman, or maybe a guy, I don't know. But uh, uh, get a good PR person to help the cause along here and <laughs> see, what we can, <laughs> see what we can do. But that's how I look at this, and that's not what's being done. So, of course, I don't have the answers today, but I know the, the process. We always know the process as coaches. We always know how to start the ball rolling. And picture a day like that with people who are near and dear to that subject uh, being part of that. And we come up with all kinds of ideas, and now we got to go, go after them and make those constituencies, which, which you know, uh, we could identify, make those constituencies aware of it. Sure. Well, you know, I, I'm always amazed. One, one of the things that, that we do, I've been part of, of, of Rotary now for, for over 10 years, and one of the projects that we do out in, uh, in North Ridgeville is we hand out dictionaries every fall. We come up here, here in a few months. We have dictionaries to every third grader who, who's in North Ridgeville. That's cool. That's and a cool uh, idea. I know. You, I remember you talking about. So it. the way the dictionary is set up, though, Jack, it has more than just you know just a, a basic dictionary. It has a lot of other pieces and parts to it. But one of the pages that, that that's in there is a page of sign language for the alphabet, and it is without a doubt. Wait, right, I got a test here right here. Is it, is it an American sign language? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought about it. But it, it never fails. Little, yeah, there should be a little footnote there. <laughs> Not well, when I present it this year, I'll present it a little bit differently, right? <laughs> it, it, it never fails a couple things. One is it's always one of the, one of the favorite pages that, that, that the kids have. And the first thing that they do, they start to, they start to sign their name, right? They're, they're trying to figure those things out. They start to sign mom or dad or something like that. And every year, again, there's about 330 kids in our town. And so as we go to, 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 to different classrooms, there's usually multiple kids during the, during the course of that, of that morning that will say, hey, yeah, I've got a, 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 a brother, a sister, a cousin, and somebody who, 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 who speaks sign language. So it's already no sign language. It's, and so I think it's more common than many of us you know, would, would know otherwise. It's just not talked about very much. That's right. That's right. You so, know, that, that, that's awareness. I mean, right. that's the, the, one of the basic pillars of good marketing. So do they need money, and how do they raise that money? How, how does that happen? So there's a wide audience that uh, that basically they can appeal to. Absolutely. So 